We rely on the hope that we have to give us the energy and the strength to patiently and graciously respond to those who are in need, who are seeking for truth, who are seeking for hope. So God leaves us here so that we, I don't understand why, we as sinful, horrid, wretched people will somehow partner with God. He uses our mouths and he uses the brokenness of our lives to then share the message of love through the gospel with people. And so as long as we live here in our sin, cancer, and sick bodies, we can be useful in sharing the gospel. If we waste our time trying to somehow appease God so that he'll remove these things, uh, the, all, the, all the apostles except for John died of some horrific death. John died of old age. They all understood they have been left here to, to, to love their neighbor to love the church and to administer the gospel to those around us. So I think in this time where so many people are asking, where is God in this? What is going on? The response should be, God never intended the world to be this way. It's clear in Genesis chapter one and three, that sin created this mess that we live in, that God's provided a way to restore all things in Jesus Christ. And the reason why he hasn't restored it yet is he is patiently waiting for those who who have heard the gospel to repent. And thankfully, we know that God uses the Spirit to help people bring them to life and believe the gospel. That is not even our responsibility to do that. So hopefully, church, you will find encouragement. And as you deal with people who are asking questions about life and God and religion, you'll be able to give them an answer that this isn't God's judgment on them specifically for something they have done. They were born under God's judgment. It's not something they have done. It's who they are. They were born sinners. They were born as rebels against God. And living in this world and suffering is a reminder that something is wrong. Every time you engage suffering, you need to love and care and weep with those who are suffering. And as they begin to ask the important questions of God, It is at that moment you say, oh, this is not God's judgment upon you specifically of what you've done, but you live in a sinful world as a sinner who is underneath the judgment of God, as all are. That is why our phrase at this church, where everyone is in equal need of grace, is so important. Because I do not stand here condemning you on the other side because somehow I have figured it out. I stand here as a recipient of grace. God was patient towards me and God opened my eyes And God showed me the gospel and God brought me to life. And as one who has received grace, I am in equally need of it as you and anyone else who hears this message. Hopefully, we can be giving appropriate biblical answers in a time that's very confusing. Thank you for listening. Today's reminder is from John Moffat, pastor of Grace Reformed Church in Spring Hill, Tennessee. Everyday Grace is a listener-supported podcast. If you would like to help support our ministry, please visit theocast.org slash give.